Hello guys, how are you? Uh, welcome to a new video. Today I'm gonna make something I've never done before, uh, which is fresh pasta. And specifically, I'm gonna make ravioli. So I've done fresh pasta before, but never ravioli. And I'm gonna use this one, this baby, um, in the dough, but also in the filling. So I'm super excited and let's start with this recipe. We're gonna start by cutting the pump pumpkin. The one I'm using here is called Hokkaido and it's very nice in flavor. The skin is edible so I'm not taking that off. I'm just gonna chop it in little pieces and get ready to prepare my filling. So I'm gonna use 400 of raw pumpkin into the filling and then the rest into the dough. We're gonna place all the ingredients for the filling in a big bowl uh, except for the nutritional yeast and then season them with some olive oil, salt and pepper, place them in a tin and then cook them for about 30 minutes at 220 degrees in the oven until they're nice cooked and crispy. Now moving on to the dough, we're gonna take about 250 grams of the raw pumpkin and then cook it uh, in a pot uh, with some boiling water underneath. So we're just gonna steam it uh, for about 20 minutes until it's fully cooked through. If your pumpkin is soft enough, you can just use a fork to smash it. Here I'm using a hand blender because mine is a bit harder with the skin on and then we're ready to make our dough. So we're just gonna uh, combine the flour, uh, the pumpkin and a little bit of salt until uh, a ball creates. This process of kneading your dough will take about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I did find some little pieces of uncooked um, pumpkin in the dough, but it wasn't a problem. I just took them out and then I kept on kneading until the dough was nice and smooth. Here we're gonna set aside uh, the dough and then take care of our filling. So we're gonna blend it with our hand blender until it's silky smooth. And then I'm adding just a little bit of nutritional yeast for flavor. So we're finally ready to make the pasta. You can see how the pumpkin gave the dough a really bright, uh, beautiful yellow color and the texture is really good. So we're gonna start by taking a quarter of the dough, roll it out with a rolling pin until it's thin enough to go through the widest uh, setting of the machine, which is usually zero. This machine has uh, eight settings, so I'm gonna start by zero and then sheet it out until number three, adding as much flour as needed. I'm using semolina flour because it's coarser and it's perfect for this use. Then I did this a bit randomly, but it worked pretty well. I just folded um, the dough and then rotate it and then started sheeting it again from set up uh, from setting zero up until setting five uh, which is a, a good thickness i think for the ravioli not too thin not too thick as you can see the way i sheeted uh, this dough created a really long and pretty thin um, piece of dough uh, that where i'm gonna place the filling to make the ravioli and then now I'm gonna, I'm just gonna repeat the same operation in order to create the second layer that's gonna become like the lid of the ravioli. Uh, but feel free to make it larger and thinner if you want, um, just uh, changing the settings of the machine. So we're ready to make the ravioli putting about half of a, a tablespoon of filling onto uh, the dough and leaving about three centimeters be, uh, between one spot of filling and the next one. And then uh, placing the second layer of dough on the filling. Here I'm just pressing around each filling with my fingers and then uh, using um, 
pastry wheel to cut the edges of the dough. Uh, I like it to be very close to the filling so that you have a maximum of filling and not so much uh, of the dough around it, but you're free again to make your own and to use your creativity. With this amount of filling, I was able to have 26 ravioli uh, and with the remaining dough, um, I made some tagliatelle, just sheeting the dough out up until uh, setting number five again and then moving it, passing it through uh, the other part of the machine that cuts in the little stripes. Uh, you could also just leave the dough as it is and use it uh, for a lasagna, for example. And just make sure that you sprinkle enough flour so that the tagliatelle don't stick to one another. To cook the ravioli you can simply boil them in some salted water for about 5 to 7 minutes until they're cooked. And here I serve them with a sauce made of soy cream, walnuts and sage and sprinkle them with a little bit of parsley. Okay, so finally I get to taste this. I'm so excited. Ooh, my first ravioli ever. Mm, they are huge. <laughs> Mm. Mm -hmm. They are so good, so creamy inside. Mm. I must say, you taste more the leek than the pumpkin, but it goes super well with the walnuts, so that's great. Mm. Okay, so we've come to the end of this video. I really hope you're gonna try this recipe because it's so good. Um, and yeah, if you do, please tag me so that I can see um, your ravioli as well. And yeah, have a good day. Bye.